It is Vlogmas! tell this video is last minute this wasn't the video that I wanted to post but these are what these chats are about right um I have another video coming out where I go into much detail about how thankful I am for you guys but You know when you have like a plan and things or distractions get in the way of your plan and when it doesn't work out how you think it would work out, you're left with like, what do I do now? I just feel as though like this is my one month review by the way when I came here the way how I started here I was super anxious like super nervous I don't mind being by myself but the fact that I have no family or friends here it was just nerve-wracking especially if something god forbid if something were to happen who the hell would i call there's nobody here um i moved here i think october 17th i don't remember um but a couple days later i got a job um i've been working and I'm still working at that same job right now. It doesn't pay me as much as I would get paid in New York. Um, and I don't think they really care about your um, your experience or degree or anything like that. But it's a job. So I can't complain about that. I have to just be grateful. Um, So far, I've met like two people um, and those two people I met off of Bumble, uh, two girls that um, on the BFF side of the app thing, um, they seem pretty cool. I can't, I don't have any complaints. Have I met any guys? No. I'm just a little out of it because I just feel like I, maybe because I give myself so much grief. Like I've been here for a month and I still haven't gone to any events. I still haven't done like what I'm supposed to be here to do. Um. And other things have just been distracting me but then as I'm sitting here talking about it, I just have to realize that I've only been here for a month like it's only been a month Shay it's only been a month it'd be so dope if I could get things done like that like start doing things but it's only been a month I have to figure out financial and all that stuff first before I can start going to events because a lot of the events down here that i do want to go to they cost money which is fine they're pretty dope events but i just started my job so i kind of got into it um like the ending of payroll or something like that and it's every two weeks so yeah it's kind of weird um I 
I just wish that people would be honest, right? I just wish that, and this is with friendships, with family, with friends, whatever. I just wish that people would be honest, like, from the jump street and not drag people along knowing good and goddamn well they have no desire to have that person in their life in any capacity and when I meet a friend or I meet someone that I'm dating or whatever it's cool to be open and see where things go but it's not cool to know in the back of your head all this time that you you have no desire for this per this person's energy in your life because you're pretty set or you're just bored for now just like just be i'm rambling but i just don't understand why people think certain things is okay and um they'll be honest with you with certain things but not honest with you about everything it's almost like you have to play detective and find shit out for yourself it's even worse when it's family bro it's even worse so that's why i said i've been pretty distracted and not um really focused on what my main goal for moving out here is and was I've been to a few places since I've been here. I've been to an open mic. I've been to um, restaurants I've been to is Stir, um, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is Flames. Do you hear me? Flames. Um, Whataburger. Hmm. Um, where else have I been? Alamo Draft House, but there's one in um, New York. Um, I haven't really been anywhere because you guys know I don't have a car and the train and the bus is convenient. It just, it takes even longer to get to your destination than say you had a car. Um, a 10 minute drive could be like a 45 minute bus or train ride. It's, it's like ridiculous. Um, you definitely do need a car here. The trains and buses are good, but like I said, if you have to have a crunch time, you need a car. Or if you want to get outside of like South or North Dallas, from what I'm hearing, like if you want to go like to Plano or places like that, you need a car because they're type far. Um, or have friends who have cars. I mean, I met one girl on Bumble, she has a car and we hang out, but I don't want her to feel like the only time I call her is when we should hang out because I don't have a, like, I'd rather just like chill, talk to her on the phone or I'll go by her house and just hang out. We don't have to go anywhere because I don't want anybody to think like I'm just around them for a specific reason other than just getting to know them. Um, there's, uh, from what I heard in the creative circle, it's really like condensed in a sense where who's in it is in it and they're not looking for like extra people to join in. Which I guess because I'm from New York, I don't give two shits. If they don't want new people in there, I'm coming in. Guns are blazing. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but that's if it if it is true, I know I'm quick to be like, girl, bye. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. And I'm so stressed out, y'all, that I'm breaking out in like hives around my neck. It's it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so one month review so far, Texas has been very cold. I do not see this heat that people are talking about. Neither am I rushing for it, but I would like a happy medium, honey. Just a happy medium. Also, um, 
you definitely need a car to do a lot of things at once um there is a lot of restaurants and stuff like that if you guys know places where i can go to like work like on my computer and stuff cool little coffee places let me know because sometimes i just be wanting to get out this house and do work if i'm not at work um what else i think that's it um texas so far has been i guess chill i don't really have any complaints about it other than it being cold and everything seems far away unless you have a car um people in texas are are nice i can say that they are nice uh the dudes in texas are like dudes everywhere else i'll just say it like that <laughs> i'll just say it like that anyways y'all i love you guys you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe please go to my website www.essenceofshay.com I have extended my Black Friday sale until the 28th. You just type in the words, locks are life, to get 20% off of anything on the site, including the $2.99 workbook. I mean, $2.99 um, booklet. Yo, I can't believe, bro. I don't think y'all can see it, but like, I'm old. Like, here's, oh. All right, see you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche?